Um, I got tagged by my boy Urban Armor in regards to why, I, how I started my YouTube channel and um, what was the reasons for it. So here's my story, guys. Um, actually, um, I'm going to put a link into the story about the situation. What happened is that, um, for you guys that don't know, I'm active duty Army, uh, but I do um, all the full-time operations for the National Guard. So I work in the National Guard building here in Bakersfield, California. To make a long story short, there's a couple crazies um, that uh, wanted to uh, actually bomb the crap out of the armory and uh, go in their guns blazing and kill every soldier that was in that facility. And, um, you know, thank goodness for the uh, diligence of the FBI and local law enforcement, this never happened. Uh, but I just want you guys to see the, uh, the link of the... Of the uh, of that uh, story that the uh, local news uh, news uh, news station did here, and uh, it doesn't really talk about everything, but I'm gonna go a little more in depth into it. Uh, basically, these guys, uh, one of them was actually in the army, and I guess he was kind of like pissed off about the army. Uh, something happened. He, he ended up being kind of like one of those Timothy McBays. You guys know what I'm talking about the Oklahoma bomber. He was in the army. Something happened while he was in the army, and made him change his mind about the government and the army and all this other shit. So this guy wanted to take his revenge on somebody. And uh, the somebody's were the, uh, the local National Guard uh, buildings here in Bakersfield. Um, this guy ended up purchasing a couple of grenades from the undercover cops. They ended up uh, doing more, more investigation and uh, found out what was his plot, what he was trying to do. And uh, right before he was getting ready to attack us or do the uh, make the attack he got uh he got stopped by the uh fbi agent and uh, the raid of the house found all kinds of guns um all kinds of grenades he had made up uh you know like these uh uh these little explosive devices that you can put on the door just so it'll explode out um he had all kinds of stuff going on you know so this guy was very not only was he trained by our military but uh at the same time he wanted to kill his own uh people so that's how messed up this is. Um, it got so bad that uh, some of his uh, compadres, because it only talks about two people in that story that got arrested, but actually it was more than that. There's approximately six of them. And these guys were actually following some of the other uh, soldiers that worked there full time. And uh, that's when it made me really think about, you know, I need to have a gun in my house to protect myself. The first gun I ever bought was a Mossberg 88. Uh, shotgun for self-defense um, and um, I wanted to have something just in case uh, somebody would try to break into my house I was actually followed by one of these crazies to my house so they knew where I lived so I, I was not gonna give these guys any kind of uh, uh, any kind of leeway if they wanted to come into my house um, unfortunately uh, I mean fortunately the, the thing is that uh, these guys were, were caught and the threat was never made so um, I'm thankful for that but it shouldn't take for something like this drastically to happen to you in order for you to defend your home or defend you know your loved ones or your family or protect yourself or others um, you guys all need to make sure that you are taking care of yourselves I mean I've had all this uh, all this uh, training with uh, with weapons all kinds of weapons guys I've shot a M1 tank I shot a Bradley I've shot everything that you guys can think of 50 cal, you name it, man. I've shot everything. And, you know, I'm home and I didn't have anything to protect my home. I said, the hell with that. So I just started buying, you know, weapons that I needed to buy. And that's how I got started. I started watching videos because I wanted to know more about pistols. You know, I mean, I'm going based, the only pistol I really knew was a Beretta 92. So after this, I got to know more about different types of pistols, different types of rifles, different, you know. Just got my, my knowledge just from watching all of you in the gun community. So I want to say thank you to all for, for uh, being there for me and for teaching me some things, you know, and uh, opening my eyes to, to a lot more greater things in the gun community. And I'm very proud to be part of the gun community. And uh, this is the reason why I started my channel because if, uh, you know, any knowledge that I can pass on to somebody new, I would love for that to happen, you know. We, we all learn from each other in the gun community. So... This is what's great about it. This is what's great about this community. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope I didn't rant too much or bore you guys to death. 
um, and I will add the link to the story so you guys can take a look at it and uh, that's my take on how I got started on my YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel guys so uh, God bless you God bless the United States of America and I'm out